Hi, well, I'm here at the Volvo stand at the Baby Show, and I'm here with Leslie Milne from Volvo. Thanks very much for talking to us, Leslie. Leslie, tell us um, why Volvo are here and why Volvo are sponsoring the Baby Show. Well, when we first heard about the Baby Show and offered the chance to sponsor it, we realised what a great fit it is with Volvo. Volvo prides itself on safety, and it's the research that goes into the safety that they put into Volvo, which is such a good fit with this show. They okay. put a lot of effort into finding out how children need to be restrained in a car for their own good, and the same with babies. And the car that was stood, uh, stood behind us has actually got a lot of features, yes. um, which you, we, can, we can highlight those things. Absolutely, and they're mostly standard on all Volvo cars. Fantastic. Okay, well, uh, well let's have a look at the car then. Now, Leslie, we stood outside the Volvo V50, which has got a plethora of safety features, and you're going to show us a few of those now. I'd be delighted to. I well, think so. The V50 do? is a sports wagon, and we think that, uh, although we do much bigger estate cars, the V50 is perhaps less of a shock to families that uh, have not needed such a big car because they've not had any children before. Okay. So if you like, it's the first stage to accepting parenthood and needing all that extra space. But included in the features of this, as in all Volvo cars, there's a safety curtain that drops down from the roof lining if you're hit from the side. Okay. There's a whiplash system in the front seats which protects your neck from whiplash if you're hit from the back. The whole of the safety cage, which is where people, the passenger compartment if you like, right. is protected from impact from any angle. So it's specially designed with couple zones in the middle to take seats away from the point of impact and to take any force from an impact around the safety cage over the top, underneath, and around the sides. Fantastic. So all the time they're doing their best to protect the occupants of the car. I see, okay. Now, especially for families, we have got inbuilt booster seats, which are very clever if you remember to order them when you buy your car. <laughs> so in the back seat here, what looks like a normal, a normal rear seat, seat. Yeah. has a very clever system whereby very easily, it immediately transforms it into a booster seat. That was very easy, wasn't it? It was very easy. And with current legislation where children must have appropriate restraints in a car up to the height of 135 centimetres, having something like that, and, and this is on both sides of the car, um, is ideal because it means you haven't got to keep lifting your booster seat in and out of the car. Absolutely. And when an adult gets in, you simply reverse it and put handy. it back into the And, and it's as comfy as a, as a normal seat is. Yes, and because down. all of our seats have three-point seat belts, it's very safe for the child as well. Fantastic. Now, in the background, we've also got um, a child car seat um, with a sort of funny-looking bar. What, what's that? That's all part of the ISOFIX system. Okay. This is something that all manufacturers now have agreed to do in their cars. If you have ISOFIX fitted, it means that any child seat that has ISOFIX can be fitted safely into that car. The RAC, I think it was, did uh, some tests, and they found that 85% of child seats fitted into a car using the safety belt were incorrectly fitted, and therefore the child isn't safe at all. I see. With this ISOFIX system, there are it's a very simple mechanism. It may look unwieldy, but it works extremely well. Mm, so sure. any car with ISOFIX and any child seat with ISOFIX will work in that car. Fantastic. And it's completely safe. Brilliant. Well, I, I feel safer just being stood by it. So uh, thanks very much for talking to us, Leslie. All the best with the exhibition. Thank you.